Jennings, Gender, Gunner, 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 Gunner,
at that Bowery bar. Michael Jordan head as big as you could ever imagine. But this is why he put up that double nickel. He was showing off for Veronica. <laughs> yep, newsflash. Jordan was showing off for Veronica because at the Bowery Bar, him and her was hitting it off pretty well. You know, she's cuddling up on Mike and talking to him. They having a good time. Next thing you know, you know, the girl that's with her was like, let's go, you know, over here. Let's start. She brought some dice and stuff, and that lit Mike up. Mike loves gambling. And he definitely loves the challenge. And he was like, uh-oh. I don't want to send y'all home broke. But she was like, why? She was like, y'all Knicks fans. She was I hate the Knicks. He was like, for real? He was like, yeah, I'm a Portland Trailblazer fan. He's like, oh, you just went from sugar to it. <laughs> just that quick. <laughs> so they started talking. And first she was ignored. And now she was like talking. So they get in there and they gambling. So... In the course of all this gambling and stuff going on, you know, Mike whispered to her, like, why don't you meet me in my room, in my hotel room tonight, get you a key, you can get up in the room. She was like, nah, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> so the friend turned down Michael Jordan, and not the one that Veronica, who Mike was really grinding up on Mike. So the other girl turned him down, so... Mike went on over to the friend, and that's Veronica, and she was all for it. So, Mike talked and kicked it with her. So, the next game, you next day, you got the, uh, you got the Knicks in town, and Mike going crazy. So, Mike scored 55 and dropped a double nickel on the Knicks. His best game he has had since he's returned. So, Mike is still in town. They got to play Boston next. So Mike is still at the same hotel. They going, they finna switch to one. They don't like staying in the one in Boston because, you know, the old Celtic Boston Garden was just a, a complete dump. The showers was, the water was always cold. <laughs> you, couldn't, it, you couldn't get comfortable in the new Boston Garden. He was like, I don't know if they did that on purpose. So what Jordan would do, they would stay in New York. You know, at the hotel. And kick it there for a while. So, they was on the whole East Coast trip back then. But back then, you did your trips. You normally, you know, did your thing on the road. And that was that. So, they stayed there. And they ended up coming home for Boston and all this stuff. Um, and then they were coming back out to play Jersey. So he told Veronica, like, I'm coming into town on April the 2nd. <laughs> I will be there for, like, three straight days. Because <laughs> he's like, we playing Philly, and after we beat Philly, we coming home. <laughs> he's like, I'm coming back out there to Jersey. I'm going to be at the hotel. I'm going to tell you where to meet me. We'll have lunch. So she came up to Michael's hotel room and they had lunch. And Mike had lunch too. Because reportedly she told a friend, allegedly, Mike sat on the, on the bathroom counter or the counter of the hotel room. And he had lunch there. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Mike, Mike was ordering what wasn't on the menu. And they got it on. So he had her tickets for the game. Her and her friend came out. And... The problem was Scotty. After all this was done, she's like, you know, I used to date Scotty. He was like, I know. <laughs> so Mike, Scotty, she was like, I got to tell Scotty just so he won't be offended. She was like, I just want to let you know, you know, because there's no text messages back then. He's like, I just want to let you know that, uh. You know, me and Mike, you know, had lunch in this hotel room. We went out, you know, I just want to let you know. So I'm not, even though we ain't talking like that, because you looking at me crazy because I'm sitting here at the game with my friend, you know, Mike gave us tickets. So Mike came over and talked to Scotty about it. I was like, yeah, Scotty, um, 
yeah, yeah, they, yeah, she with me now. And I mean, basically, it was like that. Like, yeah, you know, girl, yeah, she cool. Yeah, yeah, I got her ticket. She with me. So, Scotty was just like, oh, all right. <laughs> and that was that. So, when he come into town and was around, she was had to be available. Now, Veronica is a Piston fan to, to the core. Detroit Piston fan to the core. So, she was like loyal to the Knicks and the Pistons. So, she was, oh, no. So, when they was finna play Detroit and they won, they beat the Pistons. He was like, oh, yeah. And went and called her on the phone. Like, you see that? <laughs> see how we beat Detroit? That was for you. <laughs> like, you see how we beat Detroit? Mm -hmm, that was for you. So, she was like, you suck. Like, yep. So, he was like, we playing the Knicks in Chicago. You know, you, you should fly on out. And she was like, I can't. I got this to do and this and that. And Mike went out there to have a little lunch and met her at some rendezvous place. But meanwhile, Scottie Pippen is harboring feelings about the situation. Scottie's not liking it. He's like, he's, you know, it's that, I don't care. <laughs> do what you want to do. <laughs> we all know that. So Scotty is like, Giving her the evil eye when he see her walking past. Man, she you still around? <laughs> so, she was coming to do a, a cameo. They had set it up where NBA TV set it up so that she could be there. You know, there's so many people involved in these cover-up scams. So, to mask the fact she was hanging around Michael Jordan too much. They gave her a little role to do a promotional video for the NBA, you know, so she could be there like an inside stuff, stuff type thing. So she could be around so that Mike could screw her, you know, whenever he wanted to. So allegedly, <laughs> this is how these things were set up. And Ma Rashad would be right in the middle of it like he was innocent. Hey, we caught up with Veronica Webb. Hey, so you're an avid Knicks fan? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just here hoping the Knicks beat Michael and every Yeah, you know, just all fake and phony. No, like, I'm just here so we can get paid to go out and kick it tonight. <laughs> I'm coming too. All right, Amad. <laughs> Where's the hoes? <laughs> Aren't you married? Who? <laughs> The five who who did what? <laughs> so naturally, um, Ahmad Rashad's activity, in, in case you don't know, he's married to Felicia Allen Rashad, who plays Mrs. Cosby on The Cosby Show. That's his wife. Their daughter is the actress that you see on the Showtime series, Billions. That's their daughter that they have together. And he just basically abandoned his wife. Ahmad was just not a very good husband when it comes to staying at home and being the husband. He just running behind Michael Jordan and trying to keep up with Mike. And look, Mike has whatever arrangement he had at home. That was Mike's arrangement. And Mike wasn't changing nothing. So, yeah, this caused a big rift between Scotty and Mike when they had a, a game that they won. They had to win out, basically, to get into the playoffs. Uh, they finished third in the Eastern Conference. It was rough. They were beating all the other teams. Uh, they beat the Knicks at home. They beat the Miami Heat. They blew the Pistons out in April of 95. And once the playoffs started, you know, Mike started this, uh, like they started getting near the playoffs. Mike was uh, gearing in, like they were locking in. And the contact with her was very less because my, now Mike's got to focus. He, season's over now, you know. 
talk to you after this is over. But going into the playoff series, Michael Jordan is, you know, locked in on Charlotte. You know, and all of this activity going on. And with all this craziness that's happening on the on the actual court, you know, Hershey Hawkins getting fouled under the basket in game in game four that was never called. Um <laughs> They just wanted the series over with because the NBA needed Michael Jordan in it. Now, here's Shaq, Penny. This is who they wanted to see. Uh, uh, the game was collapsed and lost by Michael Jordan, getting the ball ripped from him. The biggest mistake he has ever made in a playoff series. That was all his fault. And Scotty, at this point, is just still harboring feelings. Over the fact that a chick he used to deal with, not dealing with him no more, and is now with Michael. This is irritating Scotty Pippen. He wants them to fail almost. He wants Michael to fail. That's he's inside rooting that Michael fail. So he can see how hard it was. Now you see how hard you just can't bounce back. And just think you can just hit a switch and do this. Ain't nothing safe around you. Not even my woman. <laughs> so he's harboring feelings through this whole playoffs. So when game one, after, after they were down three or whatever, and they were down one after Mike got the turnover and Horace Grant got the dunk, they came down the lane. He got Scotty, saw Scotty Pippen, hit Scotty Pippen with a pass that was behind him. Scotty's like, I thought he was going to shoot it. He Michael Jordan. He takes the last shot. It's game one. <laughs> so they win the next game. Because Jordan goes back and puts on the 23. After they win, uh, I think they won game two, then they lost game three. Then the Bulls came back to win game five when Michael went back to the 23 number. And then after that, they got beat in Orlando, 103-95. And then in Chicago. May 18th, 1995, the Orlando Magic did something that nobody was able to do in a long time to Michael Jordan. They eliminated him out of the playoffs. Wow. Jordan was eliminated in the playoffs. A feeling he hadn't had since 1990. Mm. And with that being said. It was over baby. Scotty couldn't. He was like almost smiling. Well. Yeah he was back. He just wasn't the same. He just wasn't the same Michael. Which made Michael Jordan come back to be the most devastating player he could ever be in 96. Training, the working out, everything. The Veronica thing cooled down. <laughs> As Mike just like, look, if this thing is messing with you like this, there's going to be other girls. <laughs> like, look, we got a mission and we're going to win. If you can't get past this. We gonna get past it no matter what. I'm already past it. So they came in and had a brotherly talk, got past it, and things moved on. So put this one in your notes. It's your boy Carcino, I'm out.